Hi, this is Frank, and today I am making the world's greatest biscotti. For years, people have asked me for this recipe and I've held out, but this year, I'm feeling very in the giving Christmas spirit. So I'm giving away the world's greatest biscotti recipe. Here we go. In my other videos, you can see how to make the dough for anise biscotti, almond biscotti, and chocolate almond biscotti. But this time, we're gonna make my personal favorite, which is cranberry, walnut, orange, vanilla biscotti. This is the bomb. Here we go. First, the dry ingredients. This is three cups all-purpose flour. One cup sugar. One cup chopped walnuts. Three quarter cup chopped craisins. Two tablespoons orange zest. I take the orange and I just grate it on a cheese grater like this to get the zest. Two tablespoons. And one tablespoon baking powder. Okay, that's the dry ingredients. So we're gonna get these all mixed up and very uniform. Come over here and take a look at this. You wanna see the beauty of this dough as it's coming into being. Got the orange zest in there, got the walnuts, got the cranberries. Okay, so I work this pretty good and make sure that all the dry ingredients are very well blended. I wanna make sure, especially, that the baking powder is well blended through the mix. Okay, once I get the dry ingredients well blended, then I put in the rest of the wet ingredients, which include three quarter cups canola oil, and three eggs. First with the spoon, until I can't really get any further, and then I go after it with my hands. tablespoon almond extract. Wow. I mean vanilla extract. One tablespoon vanilla extract. that's looking it's looking a little crumbly that's okay but now I'm gonna mix it with my hands okay here we go now I do this until I'm just convinced that all the dry ingredients are thoroughly mixed in through You see, it's kind of like a cookie dough. Not so moist like a bread dough, but not too crumbly so it holds together when it's baking. Okay, that's looking really good. Okay, now I form this up into a ball before putting it in the refrigerator to chill for half an hour. And I get this good and compressed. 
so that the cookie is dense and so it doesn't fall together when it's baking. This looks really good. Okay, once I get it formed up into a good tight ball, then I put it in a bowl. To go in the fridge for half an hour to get it a little stiff before breaking it up into two loaves. Okay, there we go. Into the bowl, into the fridge for half an hour. Okay, here we go. We're gonna take the cranberry dough out of the refrigerator. It's been in here chilling for at least 30 minutes. Okay, so we're gonna get the ball of dough out of the bowl onto our cookie sheet. We're going to cut it in half. Okay. Now take the halves of dough and now we're going to press them into loaves. So you just crush them like this and stretch them out until you get two nice long loaves. And what I like to do is I like to break them free from the cookie sheet and turn them over so that there's they're not stuck to the sheet. Just like that. And just keep working them. Take your time with this until you get them into two nice evenly shaped loaves. They cook, they're gonna spread out a little bit, so make sure you got enough room in between for them to grow. I like to make the edges of them pretty much vertical. See this here? Because as they grow, they'll spread out a little bit, and if the edge is too thin, it'll burn on the cookie sheet. Okay, so here's the loaves. Looking good. Now these are going to go into the oven for about 25 minutes until the top of the cookie loaf has become golden brown. This is going into a 350 degree oven for about 25 minutes. Okay, here we go. We're going to take the cranberry, walnut, orange, vanilla, biscotti out of the oven. Yes, look at those beauties. See this nice golden brown here that starts forming? That's what you want. And we're gonna let these cool for about 10 minutes before trying to get them off of the plate here, off of the uh, baking dish here to uh, cut them up into cookies. So we're gonna let these cool for about 10 minutes. All right, these are the cranberry biscotti. They've been cooling on the sheet for about 10 minutes. So what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna take the knife I'm going to use it to just break them free from the pan so that they don't break up when I'm when I'm trying to lift them off. Okay, so that's it. And then what we're going to do is just transfer them to the cutting board here and, uh, and cut them up. Okay, now they're going to go back onto the baking pan and we're going to toast them back into the oven. So I'm going to slice them up here and the way I do it is I take this very stiff bread knife. See it's got a very wide back to it and a sharp blade and I kind of just saw through, it's serrated and then I push down through to get through the rest of the cookie. 
and I find that that's the best way to do this without having them crumble because that top coat is really quite hard and the inside is still, wanna, is still really soft so it wants to break up. I hold them together with my fingers here while I'm slicing them to keep them from breaking. So when I've got them sliced up like that, I just transfer them to the, to the baking pan. I'm going to put them back in for about five minutes, five minutes on each side to toast them. Incidentally, that's what biscotti means, twice cooked. Biscotti, twice cooked. You bake them once and then you put them back in to toast them. I make these slices about three quarters of an inch to an inch wide. Try to keep them pretty consistent. And if you do that, you should get about 16 cookies out of a batch. Okay. Just do your best you can to fit them all onto the sheet. Okay, here we go. Back in for about five minutes or until you see that the bottoms are getting brown. Okay, the cranberry, walnut, orange, vanilla, biscotti have been toasting in the oven. We're going to take them out now and take a look. Alright, there they are. See that? Sometimes I'll use a a little spatula here to loosen them up if they need to be loosened up. But here's what the other side looks like. See that? See how they're all toasted like that? So you can go in and you can flip them all over and put them back in if you want to toast both sides, which I usually like to do. Or you can just serve them up like this. You're going to want to let them cool for an hour or so before you serve them because they're very hot. There's your cranberry, walnut, orange, vanilla, Scotty. Let's give him a taste. Mm. Man, so good.